Only this sea. It's getting a little deeper. Good morning, it's a new day. We're heading out to Monson today. Um, there's our tent site. You can tell it's in a big dry area because it kind of sprinkled most of the night actually. It's rather odd. And check out my leg. Big KT tape job to try to fend off the shin splints um, best we can. I guess that should have been moved over a little bit, but hopefully that'll work out and I could take a day of rest tomorrow. Probably in town we need to shave Jay's legs so the KT tape will stick better. I need to shave my legs. Yes. A lot of scabs there, so it's going to be a pain to shave it. But All right, let's get going and uh, hold. hope my body holds up for another week. Before we leave, we thought we'd check out the lake. But yeah. You can see the steam coming off the lake. There's like a little island in the middle. The fog is low. The clouds, super low. A nice little lake. So far, the shin splints are mildly painful, but they're not getting worse. I just have to really concentrate on my walking. I find if I really concentrate on my walking, using my trekking poles heavily to help support the down step on the left foot, and just concentrate, make sure I don't overstride or uh, lift my toe up too high or something like that, I think it'll be all right. Um, I'm not going fast at all, but uh, it's to be expected. I just need to take it easy today so I can rest tomorrow and uh, hopefully it's well enough to push the next 120 miles or so, 100, yeah, and uh, then I can rest it all I need to, but uh, I'm going to put this away and just concentrate on my walking and using my trekking poles again, but I think I'm only like a mile and a half in right now, it's still early, but I don't think I'll ever make these three mile per hour segments again. Um, we're hoping to after the uh, there's some flatter sections in the 100 mile wilderness, but uh, we'll see how that goes. See how that goes. When a tree falls over and it takes the roots with it, it's usually pretty big. But this one, I've seen some big ones, but this is the widest I've ever seen. I mean, I can't even measure how wide that is. 20, 30 feet. It doesn't even show the whole thing in the GoPro. It's a pretty wide lens. Huge roots, but shallow roots. But really wide. Here's a trail. If, uh, if you need water, the trail has plenty. I guess in a couple miles, we're going to be fording a creek. People are saying it's up to mid thigh. So we'll see. The trail is over there, but it's really deep there, so we opted to go around a little bit. It's a little shallower over here. It's still got my shorts wet a little. There's a lot of branches you gotta walk over. I know, I just take it slow so I don't trip. <laughs> yeah. But at least uh at least it's not muddy down below. And we have more. Lots more. Yeah, we were complaining about our shoes being wet for the last three, four days, and then we got this. It's well, the shoes were finally dry. It's gonna be wet for the rest of the rest of the day. Is it this way? I see footsteps going up the mud here. You ready? Good luck, Jay. All right. Uh, Please don't fall. Wherever you poke, it seems too deep, but hopefully I step in the right spot. Oh yeah, only this sea. It's getting a little deeper. Okay, that's about it though. Mid thigh. And there's more mud over here. Probably the same for you. 
There goes Pocket Rocket. That first step is a scary one. I know. I'd say put your trekking pole somewhere and then step exactly where you put your trekking pole. Because then you know that's exactly that deep there. Not too bad. It gets a little deeper. Look forward. It's cold. Yeah, it's nice and cold. I like it. KT tape starting to fall off. But it gets muddy here. That's a catch. Uh, I'll back up so you can have some place solid to walk. That was no fun. That's disgusting. I wonder how many more of these we got to deal with. But I wouldn't wear my camp shoes because they just get stuck in the mud too much. Yeah, I'm surprised those that lady's Crocs didn't pop yeah. off. Yeah. The dog is just jumping in the water. Yeah. Let's see this. Yeah, it was flattest just going where you are. Yeah, that's the shallowest right in front of you. In the middle? Yeah. yeah. It's probably like a little above your knee for you. <laughs> well, it wasn't the most fun getting our feet soaking wet and uh, went pretty much up to my crotch at the deepest. But I thought it was pretty fun actually. I guess we have another one, another deep crossing coming up. Hopefully it's not as muddy. Um, as long as it's clean water and can wash off some of this mud. Because it seems like the shores are muddy. So, But that's pretty fun. We got a pretty swift little current here. I guess, I got I guess we're gonna go down there. Hopefully, it's not too deep over there. I mean, it's not we're super. Are they? Further up, it looks really deep at the at the far edge. So here, it looks like just down here, it's shallower throughout. So I think we're going to do that. Well, she's already started that route. At least it's not cold, so you can take it nice and easy. What? Just go. Check out this crazy formation. Looks like bonds of cinnamon powder sprinkled all over it. It's massive. What is going on? Some of them look shiny like they're out of the oven. Wow. I've never seen these before. They're quite unique, I gotta say. Quite. We're also seeing a lot more of these things. We believe they're coral fungus. And I thought on the TV show alone, they said they're edible. Oh, there's a slug on this little coral fungus in the middle. There's a tiny slug on it. Here's what we hope is our last board of the day. I don't know though, who knows? Yeah. Tina's gonna go for it. And then she's back. What's going on? What is that? Caterpillar on her pants? Is it a caterpillar? Oh my gosh, I thought you saw like a shark in the water or something. Worse. Worse. Oh, a caterpillar. Oh, it's nice and cold. Feels great on my feet. Oh, A guy going sobo is like, oh, stay right on the log and you'll be fine. But uh, he made it sound like it was really raging that we would have trouble. Well, enjoy the next spot in here. Yeah. Because uh, there's barely any current. I don't feel anything. No. It's just slippery rocks below. And the water is up to our... Just over my knee. It's not very high. Just slippery rocks. No current. Yeah, he's gonna be in for a surprise when he hits that first crossing. I guess also the second one is over mud. The first one with the current, I think, is gonna get him most. I was gonna go up here, but it's all the rocks are really slippery. And uh, oh yeah, the trail goes in front of Pocket Rocket, there's a sign up there. So uh, what we like to do is hold our shoes up and it kind of drains some of the water out of the toe. Like she's doing there. That way your first steps aren't squish, 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 squish. Drain that out. 
our shoes were just getting drier too. Hope that's the last. We've come by another lake and it's beautiful with the dark clouds above. It, it looks like there's some sun or something shining in there, but no animals. We always look for animals. There seems to be like a float over there. Like an air mattress or something. You see that, Tina? What? Looks like an air mattress or something. What is that? I don't know. So, between walking through nice cool bodies of water, uh, some KT tape, and a couple of Advil, feeling okay. It's still a little achy. I know I need to baby it a little or else when it Advil wears off, it's gonna hurt a lot. So, but I'm pretty sure we could make it through the 100 mile wilderness and finish up Totten. But I'm gonna have to make some sacrifices. I'm gonna have to cut some weight. So I've decided in Monson, we're gonna, I'm gonna send my camera home, my Sony. Between that and the two extra batteries, um, I'm gonna send my Shamal home, my wall charger home, and I'll just use Tina's. So between all that, I should cut four pounds. And four pounds would be significant and that'll help um you know alleviate the pain but the other thing is there's every day for the next week it's 50 percent chance of rain so it might be like this or my backpack all the time so that's all the reason i want to put it away like mail it home because i might not use it that much at all really if it's clipped or if it's raining all the time the other bit is the climb up katahdin might be quite scrambly and I don't want to damage it or I might wind up having to put the camera in the backpack anyway so I'll just be carrying dead weight so I think I'm going to return it I think there might be chances where uh, I will regret it but I think I'll be happy not carrying four pounds for the rest of the trip with the sore foot and now the sore uh, shin so I think it's the right decision to do here. Like We're at the general store here at Monson and then oh, Tina yeah. got herself a sandwich called Almost ago. Thanksgiving. It's got turkey and stuffing and cranberry yeah, sauce on it. It's pretty good actually. Yeah, so like, yeah, she could she can finish it. It's really filling with the bread and yeah, it's filling. And then um, we both got kombuchas and we're gonna eat this, go back to the hostel, shower, and then go out and get real dinner. This is just holding mm. us over. Yeah, or maybe I take something so you don't have to go Oh yeah, that would be good. Oh, yeah. This is what I do now. I just lay in bed, ice, ice my legs. I managed to actually find some CBD balm and this is a recovery one. Um, I've read that it should, that it generally reduces inflammation and pain and it's less bad for me than Volterin, which is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. So I'm gonna, I put some of that here and I'm just icing the upper part because I didn't put any of the ointment there. But I thought I'd show you what's going on. I don't know if you could see, but the left leg, you can't see the veins in it, not like the right leg. The whole upper, you can see the tendon and the veins. And here it's just kind of round so the goal is to ice and use the ointment and hopefully get that more back to normal um we are taking a zero tomorrow so we'll take our time with this right now i'm just laying in bed um icing hoping the bomb kicks in and tina showering and she's gonna go get some dinner for us tonight but uh i'm gonna try to minimize how much i walk um least to the store and such but at Shaw's it seems like they have an excellent resupply here I mean better than many outfitters I would say so um, if you need freeze-dried food they have some of the best actually so but um, yeah so the plan right now is we are zeroing tomorrow so we'll be here another day and uh, there'll be more time to rest and we found out they actually offer slack packing here and you know, I'm generally not a fan of slack packing, but because of the injury, I, I'm i more accepting of it now. Um, 
So they do a 15 mile section of the first part of the 100 mile wilderness. So I'll actually be doing it southbound. And then um, I think we're going to just pick up where we left off 15 miles in and then be out in the woods for another six nights straight. But I think at zero and the day of slack packing would help us. Um, if the leg was, you know, if I wasn't injured, I definitely wouldn't want to do it. But it just, um, right now it's all about doing whatever I can to get to the finish. So we're good. tomorrow we're going to go to the post office and I'll mail back my camera and all the miscellaneous things um, that I might not need for another, for just a week. So, um, yeah, wish us luck here. But uh, I'll show you how things go around here. Shaw's is pretty nice. So um, the resupply is amazing. If you don't know, um, they even have spam single packets. I haven't seen those in months, months. So, yeah, I'll talk to you later.